Hi guys, so today we will be doing systems of linear inequalities. So if you look up at your first inequality here, it's negative 5x plus y is less than or equal to negative 10. So then your options here were slope intercept, two points or one point on the graph. And I chose slope intercept, I like it the most personally. And then zero comma negative 10 is the y intercept because negative 10 goes for the y intercept or anything on this side. And then your slope is whatever your number is over here. So by the looks of it, it's negative five. <laughs> But, um, so we, if you enter in it being, so if it's negative over here, that means it's going to turn into a positive. So that means it'll be positive 5 instead of negative. Then when you're ready to plot your point. So then you plot 0, comma, negative 10, and they already put in your in variables and whatever for the sides. <coughs> so I'm going to try and find, so this is negative 8, negative 10, it goes right about here. Then you set your slope because it is a positive, um, that means you have to... Um, it, that means it's going up, not down. <laughs> and then whenever it intersects on the fifth point, which is like right about here, because you want it to be negative five is where it intersects. So it's somewhere right around here, I would say. Because it's, um, that's your slope, so every five it'll touch. Then you're ready to shade. So depending on the way that your sign is going depends on if you shade the top or the bottom. And in this situation, you shade the, and for the situation, you shade below the line because the sign is greater than or equal to. So negative 5x plus y equals negative 10. Is that part of the solution? Yes or no? In this situation, it is. Then after that, you move on to this equation, which is negative 9x plus y is greater than or equal to 27. And again, I'm going to use slope-intercept. So... Because this one was negative 10, which was this term. That means it's going to be 27 over here. And then your slope would be, instead of being negative 9x, it's going to be positive 9. And then you're ready to plot your point. And it's going to be somewhere right around in there. If it's not perfect, it'll, it'll adjust it to the, where it wants it to go. After that, you'll set your slope. So again, you want to set your slope to positive 9, so it's not going down, it's going up. So this is where your interval is going to be. So then you shade. So again, because this one um, is less than, greater than or equal to, it means that you shade on the bottom. And then it is part of the equation. And then do the lines intersect? They do not in this situation. Too oh, okay, so although it does not show it on the graph, it um, it will intersect eventually because they're not parallel to each other, so yes. And then I always say that I want to use the optional linear combination tool. 
So I will finish this up. So the correct answer is that you put in for what you're going to multiply it by is in one you always do it times one and then the opposite and then you do the opposite so it would be negative one is the opposite and then enter the x coordinates of the intersection and this one in this case is negative nine point two five because you divide negative thirty seven divided by four and then for this one you use the solver to get your answer. And then you just enter in your coordinates. And then do the solution sets intersect. So do the solution sets that we said um, are part of the equation, do they intersect with each other? Yes or no? The correct answer is yes, they do intersect. Because if you can, so if it means that it's intersecting, it means like both of the same colors are together. So in this situation, this section was together. And then you're ready to move on to the next problem. So I hope um, this video helped you do systems of linear inequality.